And then one of them says, is it a water bug or is it a roach? And I'm like, it's the same thing. Look it up. It's the same thing. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks and I want to know, is there a difference between a water bug and a cockroach? Spoiler alert, there's not! But people in Texas will say like, oh, that's not a cockroach, that's a water bug. And they call them water bugs. I don't know why they call them water bugs. That's not the point. But they're like big. I don't know if they're that big, but they're big. And there was one at our office the other day, and oh, mm, and then it was move. oh, it was, I am not a bug picker upper type of person. I, especially if there's someone else around that is more qualified and capable to do it, let them. And so I was walking down towards where my desk is, and I saw it on the floor, and I was like, Ugh! So I did like the whole reenactment from the office. I was like, Michael, because Michael works with us and he's the bug picker upper person. Because my first response would be to like either evacuate, never return or burn the place down or something like that. But he was going to pick it up. And then one of them says, is it a water bug or is it a roach? And I'm like, it's the same thing. Look it up. It's the same thing. And it doesn't matter which one it is because all that matters is it don't need to be near me or my desk. So he goes to pick it up and all he brought with him was just a little square napkin. I'm like, clearly you're underprepared. I would have needed like galoshes on and like a raincoat and possibly a can of Raid and like gloves. I would have needed all the things to protect me from this little thing potentially touching me. And all Michael had was that one little napkin and I'm like, what if it moves inside the napkin and then you, oh, mm -mm, can't do it. So y'all, he goes to pick it up and mind you, I've already told him it's alive. It's not on its back. It's alive. It's alive. It, it's living. So, of course, when he goes to pick it up, it moves. And then he's trying to grab it. And I'm over in the corner going, oh, pick it up. Anyway, and then I got away. So, for the rest of the day, I tried not to put my feet on the floor because I thought if I feel something, I will legit lose it. But props to Michael for even trying to pick it up for us because it would have taken a lot for me to do it. Like, maybe if I got out the vacuum. That's what I want to talk about today. Do you know the difference between a roach and a water bug? And are you the person that picks up the stuff like that at your place? If you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Sod of Awesome. And on Instagram and YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though. Because that's creepy.